All right, here's an interesting video we have here of Nathan demonstrating how to do a push-up in three different directions. And the reason for doing this, um, well, he's actually not doing a push-up. He's just re we're just really assessing his stability in his in his um, shoulder to see how how well he can stabilise himself and comparing left versus right, a bit like what we do for the legs. And we do a lot of stability work for the legs. Well, this is the stability test for the arms. Um, and it's also a fair bit of thoracic mobility as well. So you need stability in the shoulder on the one that's in the stance phase, but you need mobility for the moving arm. So sometimes this test might show us there's a stability problem, but sometimes it just shows us that you don't have great mobility on one side. Um, using the little functional testing grid here gives us like uh, actual measurements um, so we can measure the actual centimeters that he can move out to um, and then and then determine okay where where is more of the weakness which helps us to pinpoint if it's stability or mobility that's the problem so let's have a look where how, how, he's, how he does this so he has to reach forward on an angle and he gets about 85 centimeters there uh, roughly gets about 70 centimeters there and then he gets right off on the mat on that side so not too bad so let's have a look at the other one and we'll see if there's any difference between the two and then we'll go back and have a look at it uh, it's about the same a little bit further there and a lot further there so if we come back to the first one because the first one, well, I didn't tell you, he had an issue. He has, currently has a problem with his elbows. Um, this this particular movement here is where we, we, we find the thoracic problem becomes. Because see how much it has to rotate around? If he doesn't have enough ability to rotate through there, he won't be able to get very far. And any sort of breaking in the chain here creates pressure into joints where it shouldn't be. And that's usually because he doesn't have the mobility to handle it or he doesn't have the stability to handle it. Um, usually, the, though, the stability will be found more so in the first one. So this one here, and if we see it collapsing, and there's a little bit of collapsing there, and where he needs to push right up out of it, and that would be the serratus anterior and keeping a nice, stable platform. All along, for all of this, obviously, the core is highly engaged, um, and any stability issues will be sort of found out in, in this sort of test, and you can sort of see it, and you... And you'll really see someone who has a stiff neck and that. They just can't get very far around here without collapsing, almost going to fall on the floor. Um, and every time they come back to there, if they've got a shoulder instability problem, there might even be a hint of pain. Um, and they're just going to collapse through there, where you really need to be pushing out. All right, so you can see he's not too bad on that. Um, it was more than one when he was going under. So we'd say, look, we might look for some thoracic dysfunction with him. This one is so much more effortless and really comes right around quite easily there and it's no, and how much little the bending of the elbow on this side versus the other side and then on the out to the side you can comfortably do that and there's not as much collapsing through there as we saw on the left, left arm. Alright, so this is a, an interesting way of, of like assessing someone's or your own uh, shoulder stability or thoracic problems which then tells you what you need to work more on. Um, which means that you'll get better progress through your, your programming and get back to doing more of the, the stuff you want to do. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you on our next one.